Uh, this is the lesson on the exponential graph. The exponential graph, the, f the formula, you'll have a, b, x plus q. That's how you know it's an exponential graph. The x will be an exponent. And a is a constant, meaning a number. b is a number. And q is a number. And on b, on the number, you'll have an x as an exponent. b must always be greater than 0 and must not be equal to 1. Okay, with an exponential graph, your asymptote, an asymptote is the line that a graph goes towards, but it doesn't touch. Your asymptote is y is equal to q, so it will be y is equal to that number that will be there. Another thing that is important in this graph is when your a is greater than 0, meaning that is positive, the graph will be above the asymptote. And then when your a is less than 0, meaning that your a is negative, that number that's there, it's negative, your graph will be below the asymptote. And then your domain with this graph, exponential graph, x is an element of real numbers, meaning that all numbers are covered. And then your range will depend on your a. When your a is positive, your y will be greater than q. That's, that's your, your, your range. And when a is negative, your y is less than q. That's your range. So this is not much uh, to memorize. You need to memorize that. And then we're going to look at the shape of the graph. You need to know the shape before you start drawing the graph. Let's look at the shape. Right. The first thing with the shape is to, these two things. That when A is positive, the graph is above the asymptote. When A is negative, the graph is below the asymptote. So here, A is positive. So the graph will be above the asymptote, meaning that the graph will be somewhere here. But when B is greater than 1, meaning that B is a whole number, not a fraction, then your graph will be somewhere here, above. Now when it's, it's, it's a whole number, B is greater than 1, um, it's a number that is bigger than 1. It might be a fraction, but it should be an improper fraction, or it might be a mixed number. But usually they use numbers. They use a 5, a 7, or, or 2. Your graph will look like this. In the second quadrant, your graph will be closer to the asymptote. And in the first quadrant, it will go away from the asymptote. When will that happen? When B is greater than 1. When B is 2, 3, 4, then your graph will look like that. The next one. When A is greater than 0, still the graph is above the asymptote. But now B is greater than 0, but less than one meaning that it's a fraction when it's a fraction in the second quadrant your graph starts up like that and then in the first quadrant it goes towards the asymptote like that you need to memorize that before you even start drawing the graph and then now we look at the two graphs if they are under the asymptote when a is less than zero meaning your a is negative that number there that goes with B, it's negative. Then your graph will be below the asymptote. But now, how will it be? When B is greater than zero, when B is a two, a three, or one, it will, in the third quadrant, it will go closer to the asymptote, and in the fourth quadrant, away from the asymptote like that. Then the last one, when A is less than zero, meaning that, below the asymptote and it's a fraction now in the third quadrant it's away from the asymptote and in the fourth quadrant it goes towards the asymptote please grade tens it is important to memorize this shape before you even start drawing the graph we're going to look at an example and draw one graph now okay let's look at uh, steps that we follow when we are sketching the um, exponential graph okay the first step you find the asymptote the asymptote you find from the equation and you write it and the asymptote is written in a equation form it will be something is equals to something you can't just write one number that's not an asymptote an asymptote is an equation find the shape when you find the shape you need to remember those those three boxes that I wrote draw for you that is it like that is it going up? Is it going down? And then you find the x and the y intercept. With the x intercept, not every graph has the x intercept. So you need to find the shape first and decide whether you calculate the x intercept or you don't. 
then the right the last thing you find the other shape also the other shape depends on the shape of the graph not the other shape the other point it depends on the shape of the graph okay so the example that they've given us in this question is f at x is equals to 2 into 2 to the power x plus 2 number one you find the asymptote the asymptote is q is y is equals to q my q is 2 you don't write q you write 2 so this is my asymptote y is equals to 2 number two find the shape you draw a rough sketch of your shape how do i expect my graph to look my a is positive and my b is a whole number so my graph will look like that that's all you need you can even do it with a pencil it doesn't matter and then the the, th the next thing you find the x and the y intercept now if your graph looks like that and your asymptote is two it means you will not touch the y intercept the x intercept you don't have to calculate that's why you need to find the shape first you don't have to calculate the x intercept because you will not touch i get it the the asymptote is the line that a graph goes towards and it doesn't touch so it should not cross that asymptote and the, the, the my my a is positive so my graph will be above the y is equal to 2 so it should not touch the asymptote so we'll only find the y intercept how do we find the y intercept we let x be 0 so we we'll have y is equal to 2 into 2 power 0 plus 2 y is equal to 2 to the power 0 any number to the power 0 is 1 so 1 times 2 is 2 plus 2 so it means my asymptote is not my asymptote my y intercept is 4 so my coordinate my x is 0 and my y is 4 right and then you have the next thing they say find the other point why would you need to find the other point when you're drawing your graph you you need to know must i go like that or must i go like that or must i go like that you need the other point to guide you in that quadrant where to go now very important with the shape you need to know in which quadrant am i gonna find the other point the other point with this shape because my graph goes up in the first quadrant so it means i need to find the other point in the first quadrant you can use any number in the first quadrant but be careful the bigger the number the bigger your graph will be so don't choose such big numbers uh, let's choose two so i'm gonna substitute for my x value is 2 y is equals to 2 to the power 2 um you can even choose 1 let's choose 1 plus 2 2 2 to the power 1 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 so my y is 6 so my other point when x is 1 y is 6 so this is the other point that I'm going to use when I'm drawing the graph. Let us draw the graph now. Okay, we're going to draw our graph, our graph now. The first thing that we did, we found the asymptote. So our asymptote was the equation y is equals to 2, positive 2. So here, here is y is equals to positive 2. It's a line. The line you write dotted like that. And then for you to get max, you must also write the equation on top of the line. So you got write y is equals to 2. You get one mark for that. Right, number 2 was finding the shape. We did find the shape. We saw that it looks like that. You don't need to do it in the graph now. You know how the shape will look like. And then we found the, we didn't find the x-intercept because of the shape, but we found the y-intercept. So plot the y-intercept in the graph. The y-intercept was 0 and 4. So 0 and 4, it's here. 0 and 4. And write the coordinate. 0 and 4. You get a mark. Even if your graph is wrong. If you, you put the, um, the intercept in the correct place and you have the coordinate, you get a, a, another mark. You, it's a second mark from the asymptote one. 
okay now the fourth step is finding the other point we found the other point it's one and six my x is one my y is six so i'm gonna look for that point my x is one and my y is six my point is there i write the coordinate one and six then i draw my function on the second quadrant my my function goes closer to closer to the asymptote then it moves away from the asymptote cuts the y-axis goes through the other point like that so this is my graph of f right um i'm gonna draw another function to explain these steps again let's look at another function okay the other question that we example we're gonna look at it's y is equals to four into two to the power minus x plus one so the first step is find the asymptote so my asymptote is y is equals to minus one right number two find the shape for you to find the shape you need to sort out that negative you can't find the shape without solving that negative so by laws of exponent when you have a negative like that it's a negative one here it means this one is a fraction so my equation will be y is equals to 4 into 1 over 2 x minus 1 then i can find the shape because my b now is a fraction my a is positive it means my graph will start up in the second quadrant and go down in the first quadrant my graph will look like that please remember when you have a negative like that to start by fixing it and making it a fraction then you can find the shape and then the next one find the x and the y intercept the x intercept will depend on the asymptote my asymptote is negative one so my asymptote is here it means my graph will cut the x-axis so i need to calculate for the x-intercept let's calculate for the x-intercept oh no not the x the y-intercept Let's calculate for the y-intercept. Okay, when we calculate for x-intercept, we let y be 0. So I'm going to have 0 is equals to 4, 1 over 2, x minus 1. I'll take the 1 to the other side, I'll get 1 is equals to 4, 1 over 2, x. Get rid of the 4, then I have 1 over 4 is equals to 1 over 2 x then this will just 2 to the power minus 2 then it's 2 to the power minus x minus 2 is equals to minus x 2 is equals to x so it means my intercept is 2 and 0 okay let's look at the y now let's find y our x is 2 and 0 let's find y for y intercept we let x be 0 so our equation is y is equals to 4 into 1 over 2 to the power 0 minus 1 any number to the power 0 is 1 so it's 1 times 4 is 4 minus 1 is 3 so my y is 3 so my coordinate will be 0 and 3 this is my y coordinate let's find the other point now before you find the other point you need to uh, figure out which quadrant are you finding the other point in my graph is the highest in the second quadrant so i need to find a point in the second quadrant i'm gonna use minus one you can use any value but the bigger the value the higher your graph will, will the higher the coordinate you'll get so i'm gonna use minus one so i'm gonna substitute um x uh, minus 1 for x in my equation to find the y coordinate that goes with the minus 1. So I have y is equals to 4 into 1 over 2 minus 1 minus 1. Then I'm going to take my calculator and calculate um, the value of y when x is minus 1. While we, what will my y be? Okay, open bracket. And I have. 1 over 2 
close bracket exponent minus one minus one okay when x is minus one my y is seven so my coordinate is minus one and seven okay we have all the information we need let's draw the graph okay let's draw a graph now the first thing is the asymptote our asymptote was the line y is equal to minus one so here is the line y is equal to minus one asymptote dotted lines one mark write y is equal to minus one you got your one mark and then let's move to the next part we're gonna do the x intercept okay the x intercept it's two and zero so here's my x intercept it's gonna cut there the coordinate is two and zero and then my y intercept is zero and minus three it's gonna cut there it's zero and three not minus three it's zero and three so my graph is gonna cut there right and then the other point the other point is in the second quadrant so my other point is minus one and seven there so it's minus one and seven okay now we are ready to draw our graph our graph starts there go to the other point cuts there cuts the y-intercept go towards the asymptote like that so this is our graph of it will continue like that it is our graph of um y is equal to 4 into into 2 to the power minus x minus 1 it has both the x intercept and the y intercept so it, it doesn't mean always you not have the x intercept with some graphs you do have the x intercept and the y intercept these are not difficult graphs it's just that you need to practice please practice 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 and then get better if you have not subscribed to our channel please do thank you for watching mm -hmm.